guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys ways you can use napkins from the Dollar Tree or you can get napkins anywhere. I also picked some up last year. Last year at Dollar General for only 10 cents. So that is amazing. Also, you only have to decoupage using a glue stick for this video. I can't wait to share with you guys. Let's get into the video. This first DIY I'll be using is this house and sign piece. I decided to tear it apart, flip it over, and paint the backside white. So we're gonna be adding a napkin to this backside. So I wanted to paint it white just to make sure that wood didn't show through. And honestly, I kind of like when the wood shows through on some of the napkins, but for this one, I did not. So I decided to go with this flag napkin. I just recently picked this up at Dollar Tree and I'm obsessed with this napkin for sure. So I laid it out just to make sure it was going to fit how I wanted, pull that ply off the back, and then I'm gonna be adding my glue stick. I love these Elmer's glue, purple glue sticks. It just shows where everything is and I just love them, especially when I'm using napkins. I wanna make sure that I get every little corner because once I start sanding the edges down, once the glue dries, if I didn't add that glue to the corners, my napkin is just going to tear. So this is what it looks like when it is all done. I think this is so pretty. next one I'm just using a wooden star in this canvas so I was one of those people that had to hop on the bandwagon and pick up those burlap canvases when you could find them at the Dollar Tree I have yet to know what to do with them I think I've used them for one DIY and I think this is actually going to be the second one so I decided to add that same napkin to it and I wanted to make sure that some of the blue with the stars on the flag uh, were going to show on this star so it looked like a little star flag now I'm just using a piece of sandpaper once this was completely dry just to get that napkin off nicely. So if you just sand away from your project, everything will come out nice and pretty and crisp and it just always turns out really, really good. I'm using my Gorilla Hot Glue Gun and just gluing that star to the center of the canvas. I'm sure there is more that you could actually do with this canvas. I decided to leave it pretty plain and as is. I think this is so cute. And then if you add some more decor around this, you really don't need to add more to your decor piece or your DIY. So I think this looks great. For this DIY, I'll be using three wooden houses. These are from Amazon and these napkins. I recently picked these up at Dollar Tree as well. Removing that ply, of course, because I have not removed plies on napkins thinking it was going to be okay. And then that top piece of the napkin ends up kind of pushing off on its own because it's not actually glued down to your piece. So you definitely want to do that. I have learned the hard way for sure. So once all of my little houses were glued, I just laid this napkin right on top and I just kind of set it aside until they dried completely. I did cut the bottom off because I could definitely just use that bottom for a different project. Once they were dry, I did end up trimming them down before I sanded. I thought this would just make life and everything much easier and these were coming off nicely. So this is kind of what napkins look like I would say or the little pieces look like if you do not paint underneath so I like to paint white underneath I think it kind of kind of covers up the wood a lot better but I decided to just go with a natural wood so now I'm using some of these chipboard letters these are from Hobby Lobby I picked them up on clearance about a year ago and I'm just using the color in the navy by Dixie Belle. I think this is the best navy color I've probably ever come across in my entire life. I think it's pretty. I think it's dark. I think it works. So I like to grab that whenever I can. And it also works really great on furniture projects or like larger thrifted pieces as well. But when you're just wanting to paint some letters, you got to get old Dixie Belle out. So I just glued the U, the S, and the A to the center of the houses. And then once I was done, I thought it would look really cute if I glued the three of these together. And then I had some Baker's Twine. And I want to say this was also from Dollar Tree, but I know you can pick this up absolutely anywhere. And I just decided to wrap it a couple times around the bottom of these houses.
Next, I'll be using these napkins. These were originally from Dollar General. I picked them up last year when everything was 90% off. So I only paid 10 cents for these napkins. So I did what I did with every other piece and take that ply off the backside. And I just kind of eyeballed where I was going to put the glue for this napkin. So when I was completely done with this, everything was dry and ready to go. I ended up using my sandpaper and kind of sanding along the edges, knowing that I was going to have, it wasn't going to be perfect by any means, but it was going to be kind of more like rustic and kind of just I went, what do I want to say? Like kind of more torn. And that's exactly what I was going for here. So I'm using some of this beads garland and that is what it is called on the wrapper from Dollar Tree. And I just took two pieces of the red, two pieces of the blue, and then glued them to the top of this cutting board. The cutting board is also from Dollar Tree. Grab this burlap bow. This is from Amazon. Stuck it to the center, and that was it for this. I think this one is so pretty. I did not add Mod Podge to the tops of any of these, but you will definitely want to if you want them to last. a square wood piece from Dollar Tree and land that I love napkins. Those were also from Dollar General for 10 cents last year. So I love picking up napkins after the holidays and then just saving them back. Honestly, you save so much money if you do. Painting that wood piece white and then now I'm just cutting out land that I love and just gluing it to the wood piece. And that is it. That is it for this one. But this one I think is my favorite out of all of them. It was so simple but it just looks so pretty. I don't know why I have a ton of these little palette wood pieces. I feel like I never know what to do with them. In my latest video, I actually posted um, really cute DIYs with this. So if you haven't seen my latest video, I will link in the description box for you guys. I did something different than just make coasters, but I did say in that video as well, coasters will be coming. So I did Mod Podge that star napkin to these, and then I'm using some scissors and some sandpaper just trying to make these more smooth. I was having the hardest time with these. It kind of messed up just a little bit. I think if I add like a layer or two of Mod Podge, it might kind of even everything out. But this is what mine look like. They are not the best, but I still think they are cute. But that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.